Praise God. Hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, we thank God so much for the gift of another day. May we never cease thanking Him. May we never cease praising Him. Let us praise Him with all our hearts. Father, we praise You with all our hearts. From the depths of our hearts, we say we thank You. Thank You so much, O God, for Your protection. Our great provider, You provide unto us each day. Today, too, we cling on You. Today, too, we fall on You. Today, too, we look up to You. That you will lead us in all that we do and that you provide for us so that we can also be blessings to other people. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, I welcome you once again to the program, How Do You Understand the Word of God? This morning devotion always reminds us that we need to talk to our Father and we need to hear from Him too. We'll take our devotional reading from Matthew 20, the verses 20 to 24. Let's hear the word of God. Matthew 20, 20 to 24. The heading says, Jesus teaches about seven others. A time came that the mother of James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to Jesus with her sons. She knelt respectfully to ask a favor. What is your request? He asked, that is, Jesus asked. She replied, In your kingdom, please let my two sons sit in places of honor next to you, one on your right and the other on your left. <laughs> Brethren in the Lord, I believe this is so funny but expensive because imagine all the other disciples with Jesus. The Bible says that there were many, but he chose 12. And these 12 were also, were all there. These 10 were all there with Jesus, together with James and John. How is it possible that Jesus can give the rights and left to her children? And what will happen to the others? So just imagine how they will remember, how, just imagine the facial expressions. Brethren in the Lord. But what did Jesus also say to this woman? Jesus answered by saying to them, saying to, when they say them, it means them, the woman and her children who were also disciples. You don't know what you are asking for. Are you able to drink from the bitter cup of suffering that I'm about to drink? Oh, yes, they replied. We are able, Jesus told them, you will indeed drink from my bitter cup, but I have no right to say who will sit on my right or my left. My father has prepared those places for those, for the ones he has chosen. When the ten other disciples heard what James and John had asked, <laughs> they were indignant hallelujah brethren in the lord we serve a god who is so kind and mighty and jesus told them straight ahead that it is not for him to choose so brethren in the lord we need the guidance of the holy spirit so that god by his grace will lead us to heaven may god help us to remain faithful and then look forward to the coming of Christ. But then we have to save. We have to save. We have to save. We serve God and we serve others. May the Lord help us to seek first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. And these are other things that this woman came to ask. They will follow. Yes, they will follow. Jesus has called us to work for him. To work for him and then to work for him. He did not call us only to come and enjoy, but he called us also. If James and John can also drink of the cup of suffering, Jesus admitted that as for that, you can do it. But sitting on my right hand and left, it is God who is going to do that. It is God who is going to choose you. So, brethren in the Lord, we have work to do. We have work to do. Let us be 
like Jesus said, we are looking forward for his coming. But we are not going to decide what we are going to do in heaven. God bless you richly. We pray that the Lord will help us to think about things of heaven, to be more spiritual than to be fleshly, than to think about things that does not matter or things that um, we have to leave for God to do. God bless you all. Today is our Family Life Education program, 4 p.m. prompt on Facebook and on Zoom. And I pray that it will be a blessing unto us. Today we are going to pray for the families. We are going to stand in for the family. So please, if you are free at that time, please join so that we pray for the family. God richly bless you and have a fruitful day. If Jesus does not come today, we'll meet tomorrow too. Bye-bye. Stay blessed.